everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install the Media Feature Pack for Windows 10. So, this feature pack would install Media Player and other related technologies to a computer running Windows 10 editions. So, it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to start by opening up a web browser. I'm going to have this URL in the description of my video, so I want you guys to copy it. So, Control c right-click, copy, and then paste it up in the top URL bar. And it should direct you to this web page here that you see on my screen. You want to go and scroll down just a little bit on this page underneath Downloads to select your version of Windows from the drop-down list below. And just click on the Select Edition button. So, select the correct feature pack version. So, if you're running the Spring 2019 update, which is the most recent one, at the time of this recording, that's the one I'm going to select. And then I'm going to select Confirm. Now you will see two links for a 32-bit and a 64-bit download. Download the respective one for your version of Windows. If you're unsure, just go ahead and check your system properties. However, if you try to download the incorrect version, you would come across an error, so it wouldn't even let you finish installing. I know for a fact I'm running a 32-bit version of Windows. Most people are probably running the opposite, and they're running a 64-bit version of Windows, but again, that's a, on a case-by-case -case basis. I can't speak for everybody on that. So we're just going to let this download here. It shouldn't take very long. Looks like about another 30 seconds or so. And once it's done downloading, I'm just going to left click on it one time to open up the file. Whatever web browser you're using, it might look a little bit different, but you just want to open it like any normal file. You will be prompted if you want to open it, and it should be published by Microsoft Windows here. So, verified, select open. So, I do get a little notice here saying the update is not applicable for your computer. It is only available for Windows 10N and KN editions, hence the title and description of this video. So it will not install my Windows 10 professional computer, but if you're running Windows 10N or KN, just follow along with the on-screen prompts from here, and that should pretty much be it. So I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.